Mark Smith here, the medal consultant for AH Baldwin's here in the Strand. A military medal. Could this be an MM for one of those incredible operations in World War II like D-Day, crossing the Rhine, or even more amazing, could it be for Arnhem? Last year, we had a very successful medal auction. It was at the back of a, a coin catalogue, but sold very well. Uh, and because of that, we've started to look towards how we're going to do the next auction this year. And we started to take in consignments. One of those consignments came in, in this intriguing little blue box here. Um, I, I opened up the box and, and found inside a military medal. Um, it's actually mounted so that you can read the back, which says, for bravery in the field. Uh, and when I took it out, it became a bit more intriguing because it's actually a George VI version, which is a little bit rarer than some of the First World War ones. I looked round the edge, uh, and the first thing I saw, it says, Lance Corporal Hewitt, Army Air Corps. Wow. I almost ran back to my computer. I went onto the National Archives website where they have the uh, citations for the uh, medals from World War II. And here it is, it popped up instantly, and the very first word I saw is Arnhem. What a medal. Ernest Hamilton Hewitt, acting Lance Corporal of the 21st Independent Parachute Company. They were actually the pathfinders who dropped on the first day of the Battle of Arnhem on the 17th of September. The citation is very short, but I'm going to read it to you. It says, on the 23rd of September 1944, this NCO was manning a brain gun in a house which was largely destroyed by a heavy mortar. Although buried in the debris and suffering from an injury to his back, he extricated his gun and brought it into action again. On the 24th of September 1944, in the morning he was wounded, but refused to leave his position. Finally, he led his section out over the river, though almost unable to walk. It's signed by a man called Major Wilson, what I also went on to find was the actual story of the battle written by Major Wilson. And what you find out is that all of this is taking place in the garden of the Hartenstein Hotel. We know if we've seen the film uh, A Bridge Too Far, this is where the paratroopers are in slit trenches around the hotel and the supply drops are made to them and the German cordon gets closer and closer and closer. What an MM this is. There's four or five pages here of absolute incredible minute by minute action. And Lance Corporal Hewitt, bless him, was right at the heart of that action and then managed to get his section out and cross the Rhine. The operation was commanded by a man called uh, Lieutenant General Browning, known as Boy Browning. And I'm just gonna read you this quote at the end of it. There's a letter from uh, General Browning to Major Wilson, totally about this action. This is what he is talking about, what, what Corporal Hewitt has won his MM for. And it says, Dear Major Wilson, I have heard on every side how outstandingly your company has done. To have earned this special praise from such a gallant body can only mean one thing, that your unit is unsurpassed by any other in the world. Please tell your chaps what a terrific reputation they have earned, yours ever. Boy Browning. And we're really lucky because we have this MM coming up in our auction 